All right, everyone. Um, pardon me. I just need to check something really quick. This is going to look super weird. We are recording. We're good. Okay. So I'm kind of putting myself on the spot today, but I love Buffer. I've been talking about it, bragging about it. Um, I feel like a lot of people are going to be interested in this video and how I do this stuff. So let me give you a brief overview of uh, how I use Buffer and how it kind of complements the, the typical posts that I make. So just to give you some context, I follow the Gary V content model or the Gary V content strategy. Um, you can just Google the name of, of this article. And if you want, after uh, you're done with this video, feel free to come and check out these slides. These slides are super duper useful in getting you into the right mindset. It's very long, but honestly, you don't actually need to go through all 270 of these slides to get the point. The overall point is that everything is content. We can post more than we do. We just have to let go a lot of the inhibitions and insecurities and other things that get in the way of stopping us from making, you know, 64 posts a day. And part of that is automation. So since I'm only one person, all I can really do is post as much as I can on my own, but I can also get a helping hand. So I use Buffer specifically for text posts. And you got to remember um, the context here. You don't want to automate too many posts to uh, Twitter because it's just not how people interact there. Twitter actually exposes um, you for using tools like Buffer. I think it says something like published by Buffer. Facebook also does the same thing, but since organic reach is, has already been kind of shot down there anyways, we don't really care whether or not we post automated stuff to um, Facebook. Unless you're boosting a post, very few people are gonna see it anyway, so there's no harm in scheduling some text posts. Um, LinkedIn is the same thing. I love LinkedIn. It's my platform of choice. It's where I get the most engagement, the most response, because LinkedIn is wide open right now. So LinkedIn does not show people that a post has been scheduled with a third party tool like Buffer. Um, and to my knowledge, for text posts, at least, it even treats the content the same. Now, if you're using images or video, I will always recommend that you post natively to the platform and that you do not schedule those things because they will become links instead of actual content, or at least that's my understanding of how it works with Buffer. So if you have an image or video you wanna post, always post that directly to the platform using their app or their website. Don't automate those things. Um, automation is more for these day-to-day -day thoughts, these off-the-cuff um, ideas that I may have that I want to get out into the world and, you know, just see if anyone bites. These are low effort, um, super duper low effort, just just thoughts. And you can see the length of these vary by a lot. And what you'll want to do is after you set up your buffer account, you want to go to settings and you'll want to set up a posting schedule. So on LinkedIn, um, I don't know how I came up with the schedule. I should probably revise it and look at my stats and things like that. But you can post three times a day and you can post in the morning, uh, midday and afternoon if you want it to. I don't remember how I came up with these times. I think like back in the day or something, I, I may have had Buffer's uh, subscription plan which would like guess the times that were best for me to post, or maybe I looked at some article from Sprout Social. Uh, from Sprout Social. So don't get too hung up in the times. But basically, I wanna post these um, three times a day and understand that I've worked up to this point. Originally, I would post once a day, right? And here's the other thing is that for the most part, you want to try to keep the, the text post that you write separate to each platform. So, for example, on Facebook, I'm talking to uh, people that I know in real life, people that I may have went to college with, um, people that are more likely to know me personally or know of me personally. Like, for example, they may know someone that I know um, so I can I can speak more directly 
to the people. I don't have to be as political. I don't have to think too much about what I say. If it's a bad post, at most, one person may leave a comment that they disagree, and I can just respond to them, and I'll be able to move on. So, you know, Facebook is super duper low organic reach, meaning that you're just not going to reach a lot of people um, with text alone. You're going to reach way more people with video and images than anything. So with text, you really just want to you just want to share some of your thoughts. And I'm putting myself on the spot and some of these are going to be bad. But um, simple things on 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 Facebook uh, really drive the point home and, and really work. So inside of Buffer, you get these emojis. I think I've passed the ones that I needed, though. Yeah, there we go. So you get these emojis. You can do um, simple things like this. And this is all I do is just add to queue. I'll come up with, uh, with random things that are on my mind. struggling with that one And for certain things, you'll find, you'll say, mm, okay, this could go to both, you know, and um, simple accounting, right? So in this case, this is just going to be a super duper easy post. I'm doing something advanced here, which is um, tweaking this for, for each platform. And then bam, you can add it to your queue like this. But like I was saying, Facebook is um, it's pretty straightforward, you know. You know, say so things like that. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. This is going to take a while. I'm, I'm about to load up. So I'm about to, I'm about to fill this entire thing up. And if you didn't know, on the free plan, you can schedule up to 10 posts, right? So I'm going to burn through three posts a day um, on each platform. But let's let's keep knocking out these Facebook posts. So on Facebook, um, I really just share kind of like just, just basic thoughts that may seem deep, but you know, I, I may be doing this as I'm uh, doing like my first lap in the park. I go for a walk every day. Um, I may be on the toilet and I'm just like, uh, let's fill up buffer. Let's give it a couple more posts. Um, and, you know, you just want to you just want to just speak to people, just say simple things, you know. You know, like make sure you take breaks. You can drop something like a, t -t -t -t, let's see, like a heart emoji, right? And this will be kind of a kind of a long video, but I'll, I'll show you at the very end of the video um, some posts that have done pretty well on LinkedIn that are that are pretty simple, and I'll show you some um, other cool stuff. Um, let's see. We'll hit them with another heart. Well, whoops, let me change that. Um, and you never know, you know, one thing that's weird, you never know what one of these posts will actually mean to a person when they see it. 
Uh, one that I like to do a lot is just have I already done a keep going? Yeah, keep going is a, is a real is a recurring thing. If you're totally just dry, what you can do is, um, you can go to analytics. You can scroll down. You know, you'll see you'll see the the different posts, and just just pull from yourself. Basically, I have a bunch of posts. So I'll just say, you know, happiness is always the number one priority. Don't let anything get in the way of that. Bam. And then what you can do is, because it'll, you'll, you won't be able to tell, but people can tell. You'll have these patterns that'll start to develop, especially when you're just knocking these out um, one by one. So I believe we can go back to settings and hit shuffle Q, and we're going to shuffle all of our updates into a completely random order which is fine because we don't want this to seem like it's automated even though it is we want the post to just be very generic just pop up in the right place at the right time now on linkedin um the audience is different you know uh you really want to tap into like who you work with professionally why does it feel like the count's off oh it's not off but on linkedin um you really you want to give people uh, a couple things reassurance um if you have the knowledge you can kind of establish yourself as an expert kind of talk about things uh within your realm um you can reshare things that will make you look uh pretty cool um for example, like if I wanted to uh, flux, put up a, a great video. Um, Ryan Seagal, I think is his name. And he just made a video about how to find fonts. So if I wanted to, I could just share links to these. I'm just not a big, I'm not a big sharer. I'd rather just make like a simple text post and, and keep it super duper simple because I might not look at this again for a couple days. It's going at three posts a day. So at a minimum, I have like three days, three or four days before I have to think about this again. And sometimes I just let it run empty. This doesn't always have to be full. So just just keep in mind, this is always supposed to be like the icing on the cake on top of normally posting. But let's make some um, some LinkedIn posts. And first, let's just see what has resonated with people. Let's go through uh, some of my notifications. So... Um, this post was actually automated and it's gotten 24 reactions and eight comments, right? But it resonated with people because as developers, we are too envious of everyone and everything. We will literally buy someone's course or follow or watch every video they have on YouTube because they say they're an ex Google lead or ex Facebook lead or ex whoever, you know, whatever fang company lead. We will literally <laughs> stop what we're doing to listen to these people because, you know, we think they're better than we are. And then we'll go about trying to recreate their path to success. And it almost always leads to a disappointment and failure. But you can see we got some, you know, very, very simple opinion. Um, we got eight, you know, we, we got eight comments. Three of them are, are me replying back to people. But we got five comments from this. You know, and to be honest, for a lot of y'all, you need to see some responses or some likes or something. I don't know why. I don't really care how many people like or how many people comment. All I care is about is about uh, reaching like minded people, period. That's all I'm doing social for is just to just develop relationships with people. You never know where it could go. You never know who you'll need. You never know who will need you. But on LinkedIn right now, I would say if you're desperate for some type of metric that our brains have been trained to to pick up, you know, it's easy. Um, there's another post uh, that was automated, for example. You know, you saw this earlier. If you paid attention, <laughs> this was also scheduled uh, as a Facebook post, you know, seven likes one comment so at least one person felt compelled to actually speak and that's all i'm trying to do is start conversations get people to to um 
to talk about these things, get get people to uh, keep these conversations at the forefront of everything that we do. That's that's pretty much my only goal. So let's get let's get started with um, a couple of couple of posts for LinkedIn. Let's see if we can max this out. We only got five to go. This should be super easy. So a couple of things um, on my mind. I just made a video about taking breaks. So I can say uh, every weekend and you can feel free to get get long with these LinkedIn posts. If you really want to, you can you could type a lot in here. These could basically be blog posts. People will still read them. So let's say, you know, every weekend I take a break away from coding and and work. Fit any expectations on myself. to get things done or be productive. Christo says boredom. I don't think he says so he says something like boredom begets boredom leads to creativity. And then you can just end with the sentence. So some people might only read bam, bam. Um, as far as readability, if you wanted to, you could break it up like that. Add to Q. Um, as you can see, sometimes I ask questions. Questions don't do well unless you're like very, very, a very, very popular content creator. Maybe you already have like a YouTube following or you already have some type of base uh, of of fans or family or or whatever you call them that will interact with you on a daily basis. Um, so I I don't ask uh, too many questions, and I'll just uh, let's see. You just want to document, you know, just document. Don't create. say something like that I'm sorry I'm being a little bit quiet um now one thing I, I'll also do from time to time is hashtag these um hashtags are, are really your best friend especially on LinkedIn so just sprinkle some hashtags in or you know, just just type some in. You know, just sprinkle those in, um, kind of impulsively. Don't don't stress over it too much. If you use hashtags, you'll start to see the advantage of them very quickly. If you don't, and you kind of play with them, eventually you'll see a point where it's like, oh, okay, I should probably just be using hashtags for everything. Um, but yeah, there's there's other posts like this. That's late. Uh, where are we at? Are we still on? Still on seven. All right, three more. Okay. Um,
what do they call them? Uh, coding. Coding challenges. That's not what I want to say. And we'll hashtag that. That's a pretty long one. Um, two more. It's the simple, the, I'm telling you, this one sentence one is going to be the one. You know, I've seen posts like this before and copied it before. Um, it's always the one liners. Uh, I'll go even simpler. Let's just say something. Yeah, let's go with something simple like that. Sometimes this buffer counter gets uh, off count, or I can't count. No, I can't count. There's one more to go. Um, let's see. I'll just keep that pretty simple okay and bam let's do a shuffle cupid shuffle and boom now i have enough posts to get me through the next three days on top of what i do with this thing so uh i just wanted to demo you know pretty much give people like a, a real life preview of what this process looks like it is going to be hard to get into in the beginning don't get me wrong um I tried not to overwhelm myself too much, but in this case, it was like, if I only needed like 10 posts total to not have to look at this again for another couple of days, why not just spend some time right now doing that? But yeah, if you have any questions um, about Buffer and its free plan, it's, it, I mean, it's super helpful. The free plan, in my opinion, is enough to get most people by, um, you know, I, for instance, it, they allow you to have up to three accounts. I'm really only using two. I should just just unlink Twitter altogether because I'm never going to schedule a post there. It's just not a good idea. You're not going to get 
much you know you don't get a lot of uh value out of sitting around and scheduling 10 twitter posts but i in my opinion it's worth it to do uh for me at least on facebook and linkedin but yeah i know this is already a long video i'll let everyone go if you have any questions uh let me know and i could definitely spend more time on this or maybe do like a live workshop with people if if people are interested in that just let me know um i'll see y'all later peace